dissolves abscess. Let me give a small introduction of the ear structure first. Ear can be divided into three parts. One is the external ear, this is the middle ear, then the internal ear. Infection of the middle part is called as otitis media. If the duration is less, it is termed as acute otitis media and when the infection lasts for more than three months, it is called as chronic otitis media. Complications of otitis media is seen more in acute otitis media. What happens is the infection of the middle ear from here, it, it is spreads to the mastoid air cell which is seen just behind this part. Just like how you see here. See, this is the ear. If you go straight here, you can end up with the eardrum. Behind that, this part is called the mastoid. Inside this, you have the mastoid air cell system. Once the infection reaches here, it can go inside towards the brain here or it can go outside to the neck. So, Bizol's abscess is an abscess in the neck. What happens is this mastoid tip gets eroded and all the abscess pus from inside. It tracks down medial to a muscle which is attached here. That is what happens. Now, if you see the, the patient complaints will be, they say that we have been having this ear discharge for a few days and off late now, we have noticed a swelling here, which is little painful and the patient will complain of fever too. On examination, and once when you clean up the all the pus, everything which has been cleaned up from the ear, and when we examine the eardrum, you can see a perforation or a hole in the eardrum and pus coming out from out of it. An examination of the neck shows there is a swelling which is diffuse and tender to touch. And local rise of temperature is also there. Why? Because just like how I mentioned, the mastoid has the tip has eroded and the yellow depicting the abscess drains down the muscle. These patients need to be admitted and we, st we start the investigations, routine blood investigation followed by investigation of choices, high resolution CT scan with contrast of the head inclusive of the neck. So that will give us a diagnosis. It will show pus formation in the mastoid as well as the pus formation in the upper part of the neck too. Along with it, Along with these investigation, we need to do a hearing test and we have to take a pus for culture sensitivity. In that, we can specifically come to know which bacteria is involved and which is the antibiotic which can be given against that particular uh, bacteria. Now, at the same time of admission, we start with IV antibiotic also. We will wait for 2-3 days. If the, if the patient starts improving, means fever has come down ear discharge has stopped or decreased and swelling has become less means he is improving. So we can manage him medically just by continuing IV antibiotic along with that we need to clean the ear every day and apply drops, ear drops three times daily, three drops in the morning, three drops in the afternoon, three drops in the night and likewise he needs a nasal drops too. Now, in case he does not improve within 3 days, he becomes worse, the temperature increases, swelling still increases and the pus discharge from the ear does not stop, then we have to do surgery on him. What do you do? What you do is, the main pus formation is seen inside the mastoid air cell system and, the, and behind the eardrum. So, we have to open up behind the ear and drill the mastoid out and remove all the cavities and pus which is there as well as lift the tympan, the eardrum and make it clear of all the diseases. And for the collection or abscess formation in the upper part of the neck, we make a separate incision, remove all the abscess and put a small drain. So the patient stays in the hospital for 2-3 days more post-operatively and once the drain is removed and the patient starts uh, improving, we can discharge him with a course of antibiotic and the antibiotic you may need to take at least for 10 days to 2 weeks. So this is about Bizol's abscess. Thank you so much.